All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, we are joined by head women's soccer coach Nikki Izzo Brown this morning. Um, we will go ahead and open it up to questions. Just a reminder to use the raised hand feature when you're ready. All right, Kevin Kinder, you can open us up. Nikki, obviously, we talked about scoring. Uh, you go on a you know, record tear. You know, what really goes into that? I'm, you know, obviously the opposition is a little bit of it, but how do you try to continue that other than the obvious things of, hey, we're going to keep working on the, you know, items, the things that we think led to those goals? Yeah, it the the best method is failure. At uh, Duke, we, we hit a post, we hit a crossbar, we had a sitter, um, we had an open header. And, and those are moments that, you know, you have to continue to execute as, as we know at the highest level. Um, a teams like Duke though, won't give you a lot of chances and you have to finish those chances. And unfortunately we weren't able to do that. Uh, Duke capitalized on, and their pressure capitalized on our mistakes. Um, and, and I'm sorry, and caused those mistakes. So we wanted to make sure going into Sunday's game that, you know, we continued to hunt finishing and executing when we had chances. And I, and I thought the team, their goalkeeper had a great game by the way, too. And um, as much as, you know, we, we executed a lot of our chances. Um, I, I thought St. Francis did a good job defending us in moments. So to, to answer your question is just, you know, laser focused. We have to be laser focused and understand that to have big moments, we have to execute those chances. Oh, Nick Farrell, you can go ahead. Sorry, I didn't know I was muted. Yeah, all good. Coach, how are you? Good, Nick. How you doing? Oh, great. Thanks. Hey, you guys have played Penn State over the last two decades, you know, almost as if they're a conference team, right? Yeah. Um, why has that series been important to you and your program? I will speak from, from me and, and not from Penn State, but uh, it's just been a great rivalry. Uh, I have the utmost respect for Penn State and all that they've accomplished. And, you know, obviously they are a, a top 10 program, top 25 program that does it at the highest level nationally. So it's an important game for us because we've had this tradition of always playing each other and it's always a great game uh, no matter who wins. So I, I think for both of us, it, it brings out the best in us um, or the worst. And, and that's what we want to see going into conference play. So there's a mutual respect, I believe. And uh, it's just an, it's a natural rivalry because both programs won their conference last year and we'll see each other uh, through that uh, NCAA tournament at some point. So it's just a good gauge of where we are as a program. Kevin Kinder, you can go ahead. All right, first two games, you've gotten a lot of players into action. You learned anything new, and can you learn new things from players in game conditions versus you know practice preseason? Oh yeah, I mean we we're still you know trying to figure things out. You and and you'll see that a lot of the rotation isn't the older players; it's the newer players, and really just trying to get a feel of what's going to be our best uh, chemistry and, and understanding of them, because as a coach, you know, and until they're here in this environment playing against other women, you really don't know what they can do. And then the same thing, um, adjusting to pressure of an opposition, you know, you can only do so much in training. And then all of a sudden when different teams present different uh, issues, especially pressure, uh, you really get a feel for what players can do under pressure. So that's really important. And then us just finding uh, the right combinations uh, as a staff. And I'm guessing following on to that, you know, it was good to get a lot of players that time in a 
game that wasn't a lot of pressure, you know, in the second half uh, against St. Francis. But how much more is it important that they got some of that time against Duke where you can really judge them, as you said? Uh, th- those experiences – and again, when, when you're in a locker room and I can say, hey, in 216, this is what we did, they're they're tuning out. But when I can say, hey, this is what happened at Duke and what we did at Duke or what we did at St. Francis, now all of a sudden I'm, you know, everything becomes a little bit verified, as they would say, or, you know, now there's there's a little bit more facts behind a myth there. So that those experiences as hard as, as it was going and playing Duke on the road the first game those are valuable lessons. It's just now how important the team takes those in, learns from them, and then continues to um, develop. Nick Farrell, you can go ahead. Yeah, so Coach, along those lines, you know, everybody wants to talk about the transfer portal these days. And even before that, there was always turnover on rosters. You'd bring in classes of freshmen and they'd have to learn and start from the ground up, right? So, in this new era where there, there in some cases is more roster turnover than ever, how important is experience within your system? Oh, it's invaluable. I mean, it's invaluable. And that, and look at the transfer portal um, is important, but even when kids, no matter what your, your junior and senior level kids have experienced two years of playing 20 plus games, right? Being in the weight room. Uh, And then on top of us, it's all about development here. You know, having 43 pros, um, we we have a system here that we want to make you the best version of yourself. So for us, your junior and senior year is, is really trusting the process and then understanding your time will come. If it doesn't come early, it'll come later because of all the education and opportunity that happened in the development. So for me, Uh, There's nothing more important than having kids for their four years here. Um, And and you'll see now with this COVID, this fifth year thing is incredible. I mean, I just, I just, as much as I didn't, and we all know COVID was not very good, that fifth year opportunity for kids um, and and for me to coach them and give them that extra year, like Jordan Brewster, she's like, coach, I want to come back. I could see where I'm not ready you know, and, and that now that's paid dividends to the contract she got and why she's playing and starting. Any other questions for coach? All right, we'll go ahead and wrap it up there today. Thanks everyone. Thanks everyone. Pump that game up. Big, big double header. Need a big crowd, big crowd. <laughs>